Well, Anita gets the assignment of the day. She gets to hang out with the amazing Christy Morcom and also these brand new baby Jaguars. Love it. Mm -hmm. Christy's one of my favorite people in the world, and so it's so good to finally see her in person. And of course, baby animals. Oh my gosh, yeah. Today is the perfect day. Anita, baby jaguar. I dress for the occasion. And I am obsessed with your shirt. It's so fabulous. I'm obsessed with these BBs. They are precious, so they're only a couple of weeks old, and a lot of people are asking me if they're the same species, which is a great question, mm -hmm. because when you look at them, you see there's the two spotted and the one black. And the little black male is actually melanistic, which means that he has too much color pigmentation. So it's really the opposite of albino. And he does have black spots in the right light. You can kind of see them. He's black with black spots. But my favorite are the spotted. They are just adorable. They're beautiful. Just a couple of weeks old, how quickly do they grow? How quickly do they change? Very quickly. So they start to grow very rapidly at this point. Anytime our members come out and they're seeing them from week to week, they can't believe how much they've grown. And full grown, they're the third largest cat in the world behind tigers and lions. They can get over 250 pounds and they have the strongest bite of any of the cat species and kill their prey by attacking from above and crushing their skull instead yeah. of going after the jugular. Hey, you know, that's just how it is. So these little guys uh, seem very mellow. Very calm, but I've seen, yeah. I've seen a couple few little roars coming out of them. Right? Oh my gosh, I love the little sounds they make. And we're so fortunate to be able to raise them inside our baby animal nursery. Mm -hmm. By raising them in here, we're able to almost completely ensure their survival. And we're able to establish a basis of trust that we can build on. So all of our hand-raised cats on exhibit participate in their own health care. We're mm -hmm. able to carry that on through their adult life. And it gives them much better welfare and they become a more adjusted animal because they're always going to live under human care. Right, because you can't you, you can't put the, the cat under every time you need to do a check. But if the cat is used to you guys, then they will let you look for signs and symptoms and, and like you said, participate in their own health care. The preventative health care, we're able to provide for these animals with them participating in it through positive reinforcement training through protective barriers. We don't have any free contact with our adults is unbelievable. We can go in, we can do voluntary blood draws, ultrasounds, take their weight, do a complete body workup on these guys any time we want. And for that reason, these cats are living so much under, uh, so much longer under human care. I'm getting a wrap, so anybody who comes to the zoo can visit these babies really quickly. I just want to show you, we have a little baby leopard here, a very cute, and then wait, wait until you see these little guys. They are little rascals, little baby warthogs, you guys, five males, making a mess, making a mess. We'll be back in a little bit. Oh, how crazy. And Christy brought one of those in, Waylon, one of her favorite ones, when they were, he was this small, and now he's this monster. Is giant. All right, fun. We'll I, know Wayland, I know Wayland well. He has tinkled on the studio floor on the weekends. <laughs> right. I've seen it live. Uh, have you seen him lately? The guy's a giant. <laughs> Anita's at the Wildlife World Zoo Aquarium and Safari Park, and they have so many animals there. And Anita, I'm always fascinated by the adaptations all these different animals have. And I was actually talking with Christy about this little bird here and the amazing adaptations this bird has to survive out in the wild. She was reading all the facts to me, and it really is incredible. And what's incredible is that I'm letting a bird get so close to me, but it's just a sweet little baby, about a month old, Christy. Yeah, this is Blue. He's our little crested screamer. He is just about a month old. And yeah. Anita, I am thoroughly impressed. He has been following you around all morning, and you are doing so well. I think he likes the shoes. Okay, so, so many fun facts about this, and Troy was just saying that these animals adapt to their uh, environment, which this guy certainly can, because he can scream really loud, he can swim really well, and he can run really well. He can. They're also accomplished flyers, and there's so many unique adaptations that these guys have that help them survive out there. You're going to find them in South America. Look at his giant feet. Now, yeah. those feet are going to help him walk across lily pads. And like very few birds, every single bone in these guys are hollow, including their little toes. So that's going to help them with buoyancy. But they also have little air sacs underneath their skin. It feels like when you're petting them, like you're touching bubble wrap which is so crazy, and it's going to help them with buoyancy as well since they're going to be cruising around on all those lily pads. So these guys are just incredible. They'll see. grow to be 30 inches, and they're an 11-pound bird. So and you can hear their big. scream. He, when does he start screaming? At what age? So they, 
it's going to take them a few months to reach maturity. In a few months, they would be off on their own, away from the parents. But as he gets older, that scream's going to get louder. And as he matures, you can hear that scream up to two miles away. That's what Johnny says about me, too. <laughs> I'm it. just kidding. I'm just kidding. I do scream really well. But they're adorable, though. And so this guy was born here at the zoo? He was. And this is a really unique species. He was born here at Wildlife World. Mickey Olson, our owner, actually started as an exotic bird yes. breeder, breeding for zoos like the San Diego Zoo. And today is such a yes. special day. We have to say happy birthday to Mickey. He's one of our favorites. We were talking about that. Perfect segue. He does love his exotic birds. He loves his birds. Happy birthday, Mickey. Yay. <laughs> and so zoos open every single day. Every single day of the year. Okay, you guys, lots of babies to come check out. Lots of fun stuff to do. It's Mickey's birthday. I feel like we buried the lead. Happy birthday, Mickey. How about that? I know. I love Mickey. <laughs> Built that He's zoo from scratch. How about that? And even though it's warming up, Anita, the great thing about that zoo is they've got so much shade, right? And if you get out there early in the morning or later in the afternoon, you can still have a great time and not be, you know, sweating.